today's video is going to be another mystery box unboxing. And today we are going to be opening the subscription box from Fortune Cookie Soap Company and it's called the Soap Box. And I did one of these a few months ago, I think maybe in September or October, right before I went to Walt Disney World and a lot of you guys already were familiar with this company and y'all knew what this month's box would be. And I stupidly cut the box open the other day. I forgot that this one is not a box within a box, but it's still a complete surprise. I haven't looked at any of the things or smelt any of the things, so this will still be a first reaction thing. So as many of you guys knew and you told me, which is why ah, I've been waiting to get this in the mail, this month's box had a theme and that theme was Nightmare Before Christmas. So uh, this is what we're going to be getting into today. Just FYI, this company does sell out of their monthly subscriptions extremely fast. It isn't actually a monthly thing. I think it's every other month or a couple times a year they are a smaller company so they just kind of do things you know to the capacity that they can from what I understand so these are no longer available to be gotten you can't get it but just you wait until the end of the video because we have a special surprise for you so stay tuned this is what the box looks like just right on top the very first thing that I am noticing is this little thing it looks like a soap but I'm reading on the card that it is a bath melt and this is lock shock and barrel and I guess you could have gotten one of the three. I'm not sure. So let's just take a smell and see what he smells like. Hello, stranger. Ooh. Very excited about this bath melt because it smells like one of my all-time favorite Halloween candies, and that is bottle caps. Do you guys love those things as much as I love those things? I hope that you do. The root beer ones are my favorite flavor, and this smells exactly like that to me. Even though on the card it says frosted woods of pine spruce uh, warmed with hints of spice. I don't know, just to me it smells like, you know, that's apropos, right? A Halloween candy? I don't know. I like it, whatever the smell is supposed to smell like. Moving right along. The next thing is so adorable. And it is another little thing that looks like it could be a soap, but it is not a soap. It is in fact a bath fizz. And this is Jack Skellington himself. Let's take a little sniff and see what he smells like. Ew! I like this as well. Uh, I can't quite put my finger on what the scent is, so let me consult the card. This says that it is iced lemon. That sounds very pleasant. With airy menthol. I love medicinal smelling things. I can tell you though this isn't like a heavy medicinal smell or anything like that. But I'm just getting over a cold. So I may plop him into the bath tonight and see if he kind of helps me get over the last little bit of whatever this is. Once again, I really love the smell of it. And of course, I love the look of it. Next. The next thing in the box is this little container. And this is a whipped body cream lotion in the smell Christmas Town. All of the labels are just so adorable, might I add. I love all of their packaging. I loved the packaging last time. Let's take a smell. It smells like those little shops that sell all the incense. I don't know if you guys have those where you live, but I live pretty close to Galveston and there are tons of shops down in Galveston that just sell banners and incense and candles and stuff like that. And I always love the way that those places smell. Oh, okay, okay. So each box, I guess, had a different potential smell in it. So I got Christmas Town. You could have also gotten Halloween Town, Thanksgiving Town, or Easter. So it doesn't tell me the exact notes that's in this product, but whatever it is, I 
like it. I'm so excited. There's not one product in here so far that I haven't liked the smell of. Let's continue. The next thing that I am seeing in here, oh, oh joy. Okay, this is a dry shampoo. You guys know that I live by dry shampoo. It always makes my hair look so voluminous and nice. I just love what it does for me. So this is called Zero Dry Shampoo and it is supposed to smell like the faintest whisper of pumpkin and ghostly billows of sweet peppermint. I'm gonna shake a little bit of it into my hand and just kind of work it into my scalp. I really do like the smell. I do smell just a wisp of pumpkin. Pumpkin, where are you? I really like the smell. I like the texture and I can see this being a super duper easy thing just to chunk in my purse and kind of, you know, maybe a little bit easier than the spray cans. I don't know. I like it. I'm justifying different reasons to use it. The next thing that we have in here is a hand sanitizer and this is in the scent Oogie Boogie and there is never... Oh! Okay, okay, just noticed. This is so cute! Can you guys see the congealed insect in the bottle? Oh my god! Why don't all hand sanitizers have surprise hidden things in them? I'm going to sample the smell. I love Oogie Boogie. Oh, that's why the bug, because he has the bugs coming. Okay, <laughs> I get it. This definitely has a very berry scent to it. Let's see, it is indeed supposed to be smushed winter berries. Oh, I love how they just write everything on this card. Smushed winter berries against a backdrop of sweet muted cinnamon. And I definitely smell the cinnamon the longer it's on my hands. I may just start sticking a bug in all of my hand sanitizers. Maybe it will be this bug. I'll just keep sticking him in different bottles. All his little plastic bug lifespan. I love it. <gasps> oh boy, uh, I found a jingle bell. Nice. The next one that caught my eye is this one wrapped in a little baggie. And uh, this is the fortune cookie. I think that they put a fortune cookie shaped soap in every box. Don't hit me with a rock if I'm wrong. So this one definitely has to have something to do with Sally because it is that blue color and it's got a little patchwork square on it and it says on the card that it is fresh breezes and fluttering white cotton and dry crackling leaves and I love it. Let's see if I can get the fortune out of here. How jolly our Christmas will be! Uh, I agree, that's not- I'm gonna stick the fortune back in there because I think it looks cuter with the fortune inside, right? The next thing in here is a rollerball scent in- what's this? What's this? Oh wow, okay, this is so awesome and so much fun. I'm just reading this on the card. They're saying that this is their second annual mystery fragrance contest. They're not giving any hints. And if you can guess what this fragrance is or what it's made up of, they will give you a $50 gift certificate to fortune cookie soap and I think that that's just something that's so much fun and a little extra just you know I don't know I love contests I don't enter contests anymore but I just I don't know I love everything about contests I love hosting contests contests are nice here we are to the last little thing in the box and it is wrapped up in paper as well and it says it's not intended for human consumption. All right, warning taken. This says it is a solid body butter in the smell Sandy Claus and I have actually never had a solid body butter before. I don't exactly know how that works. It kind of is feeling like it's melting a little bit in my fingertips. You can probably see it sliding. I guess you just rub this, you know, where you need a little bit of extra nourishing body butterness. It definitely starts off feeling a little bit on the greasy side, but once you disperse it all over your body, it is definitely not greasy anymore. 
It smells a little bit like chocolate. I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on this one particular scent, but hey, you can't like everything. And that's the first scent in the box that I really wasn't crazy about. That was supposed to be chocolate and chai. See, I don't really like the smell of chai. I don't know. That's probably what got me. The other thing that I remember from uh, last time I unboxed this box is on this card, they give you a coupon code and it's not like for a percentage off or anything. It is for $10 worth of merchandise. So in case you like any of these products that you got in the box, you can buy a full size or I think their soaps are cheaper than $10 a piece. I don't know. So maybe you could get a couple of the things that you liked in the box. I think that that's a pretty good deal. Last, we are left with worms. Oh, I just dumped them all over the floor. Hello, worms. I love the color of these worms. They're like a dusty purple. Hello, little friends. All right, moving right along to, ooh, worm in my hair. I'll just let you stay there. You're nice. So in case you couldn't figure it out already by my utterly non-subtle hints, the wonderful, lovely people at Fortune Cookie Soap are giving me an opportunity to give 20 of these boxes away to 20 different Swamp family members. So check the link in the info box. It is a raffle copter giveaway. There are tons of different optional entry methods. Obviously, you do have to do one thing to be entered into the contest, but it's okay totally if you don't have Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Hopefully you have one of the social networking sites or a YouTube account and you can enter by subscribing to me, but you don't have to do everything. You just have to do one of the things either for me or for them technically to be entered. Also, I will be emailing the winners privately. I will never contact you on YouTube for any reason on the YouTube messaging service. I'm not sure how avid the scammers still are out there, but if you get some kind of YouTube message that looks from some person that looks to be me, it is not me. Do not reply. Do not give anyone ever any of your credit card information or your private address or phone number, nothing. I will not need your phone number or any of that crazy stuff. My cat is trying to play with the worms. Ha ha ha. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to the wonderful people of Fortune Cookie Soap for providing me with 20 boxes to give away to you guys. And they also sent me this box to do the unboxing with. So a huge, huge thank you to them. If you're not already and you want to subscribe, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. That is it, because I know today's video has been super duper long. So I love you guys and I hope you're having an awesome week so far and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye! I was trying to make the cat wave. Bye! He's having none of it. Love y'all. Bye!